So why was I MIA from YouTube for the last eight and a half months? Well, first of all, I actually don't like talking about my health all that much. Uh, it's just kind of draining. It's already taken so much of my energy in my life that it's not my favorite thing to talk about. And especially when I have other more interesting projects and work to focus on. So one of the most common questions I get asked is, uh, what do I get, do for work? Uh, if I can't go out and uh, get a regular job. Hey, what's up? It's Jeffrey Lin. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my battle with multiple severe chronic illnesses, including uh, probably one of the most severe eczema conditions, uh, asthma and allergies combined. Uh, so going back a little bit with my story, I graduated college being very sick so I couldn't go out and be an engineer, which is what my degree is in. So kind of fell into designing websites for Wall Street. And by doing that, I was able to meet a lot of the top investment pros and gurus that you see on financial TV and uh, even see a lot of what they do because I was editing their videos and uh, designing their website. I got to see uh, what they do in their business day in and day out. So I learned how to trade. I learned how to invest and um, that's kind of how I'm able to do a lot of these other things that I'm able to do now. So for the last several years, I got kind of bored of the whole business investment world. I gone off on uh, doing a lot more entertainment stuff. I started my own fashion entertainment magazine, uh, filmed a lot of stuff with uh, you know social media influencers and YouTubers and did a lot of production stuff. I never stopped doing the investment stuff. I just didn't put a lot of focus on it. But given the COVID lockdowns, uh, I couldn't really go out. So uh, just dived back into um, investment research. And what I do isn't uh, the traditional investments of looking at companies. I actually haven't really uh, cared about companies' news or what they do or how much money they make for uh, a long time. That's what I initially did for like the first six months of my investment journey, but uh, I haven't done that for a long, long time. Uh, what I do is more called quant trading now, which is just looking at statistics of how the stock shares move around and using those statistics uh, to know which stocks to bet on and when. Um, and that's kind of where all the research uh, that I was doing was about is um, what happens with the stock prices when certain things happen or uh, certain odds happen or certain um, correlations between uh, different assets, uh, things like that. So that actually did very well and I got through 2020 with one of my best years ever doing investments, automatically trading stocks because one of the things with quant trading is um, it's automated. You'll hear a lot about algorithms, which is just uh, like, a simp like a mathematic equation and the stuff I use is actually very, very simple. You probably only need like a uh, elementary school or junior high uh, math skills to be able to do it. Uh, so that's what I spent probably five or six months doing. And once I got that completed and that was all semi-automated because, you know, computers can run these equations um, all on its own, um, I started getting into some other uh, investments, including some startups, and also even uh, joined some of my alumni from Harvey May College in uh, buying an airline in Alaska. So never thought I would do that, but you know that's one of my passions is aviation. And so given that opportunity that uh, there was the biggest airline in Alaska was on sale, uh, because of COVID problems, we stepped in and um, you know bought the company, took it over, and uh, you know started up uh, essential services uh, that Alaska 
uh, needs to continue running. So that was one of the highlights of 2020. And going along with aviation, uh, I also took a couple of flying lessons with my buddy Jordan. Learning how to fly was always one of the things that I wanted to do, but just never had the opportunity and the time to do it. And uh, as the lockdown seems like they wouldn't really end, I couldn't really go and travel anywhere else. Uh, took a couple of flying lessons with uh, my friend Jordan. Unfortunately, because of uh, my health issues and all the medications I'm on, uh, it would be a real hassle to uh, get the flight surgeon's approval to take flying lessons long term and get a lot actual uh, pilot's license. And the last thing I want to share with you guys is I invested in a film production company. Uh, the first movie I'm involved with is coming out. It's called Passing. It's, it's going to be shown at Sundance on January 30th. So this time last year, the end of January, which is when Sundance Film Festival happens, I was I went to Sundance and uh, met some really cool people that had done several films in a row and they've all got awards at Sundance and just felt uh, we re connected really well and I was able to join. All right guys, thanks for watching. So that's my 2020 wrap up. Even though I was locked down at home, just really grateful that my health continues to improve and I was able to do a bunch of different things that I enjoy both intellectually from uh, working on the investment research to uh, getting involved with movies, which is something uh, I really love. Obviously, you know, videos and film is my favorite creative medium. Really glad I'm able to, you know, start exercising and, um, you know, kind of grow into my body and start to use all these uh, health improvements that I have. Otherwise, what's the point of getting healthy if I can't use my body to do uh, different things and different activities I couldn't do before. So uh, that's a wrap for now. I will come up with other video ideas to share with you about dealing with uh, the pandemic and kind of uh, living in isolation what you can do. So uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Jeffrey Lynn LA and I'll see you guys soon.